In today's video, we're gonna take a look at 7 of the best 3D sculpting apps for Android and iOS. These will allow you to work on some ideas, concepts or even use the apps as a starting point for your 3D projects that you can finish later on your computer. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Nomad Sculpt. It is probably not the first time you are hearing this name, especially on this channel, because if you have seen the video titled Best Browser-Based Sculpting Web Applications, we talked about SculptGL, an open-source project that was later forked by Sketchfab to create SculptFab. In 2019, Stéphane Genier, the developer behind the project, quit his job at Sketchfab as a 3D front-end engineer, and from there, he started working on Nomad Sculpt, the 3D application and painting mobile app for both Android and iOS. It is currently considered as one if not the most extensive and advanced 3D sculpting toolset that you can find on mobile devices for free, given that it was completely designed for a mobile experience. The app supports pencil pressure for Apple Pencil or Samsung S Pen, and with its intuitive interface, it makes it easy to manipulate the objects in 3D. And since it is completely free for everyone, it is increasingly being used and the community is rapidly growing every day from beginners to professionals. People are eager to share tutorials, whether it be on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and so on. It has received a really warm welcome in Google Play in addition to the App Store. Knowing that it doesn't include all and every feature a professional sculpting software needs, and this is the case, not to make the interface confusing. But generally speaking, it contains every tool you may need to achieve great results to a certain extent. Moving on to another free sculpting and painting app, but this time for Android only. Sculpt Plus has more than a million downloads, which shows how popular it is. The developers learned a lot from the user's feedback and improved upon their project, making it include a larger and more complete set of tools and features. Some of the most important ones include the continuous autosave feature, which we can all agree that it is a key feature for this type of applications, especially for low-end hardware such as mobile devices, which tend to crash very often. Also, with a user-friendly interface, which I personally like a lot because it is fully customizable. So, Skull Plus includes the creation of custom VD and brushes, as you would find in professional sculpting software such as ZBrush. For example, you can sculpt an ear once, and by making it a VD and brush, you can copy and paste an ear everywhere you want without having to sculpt it all over again. What's also great about this app is that you can share your projects either by traditionally exporting it as a 3D file in a format such as OBJ, SCN, or GLB, but also you can export rendered images and even export 360-degree turntable GIFs. Although you will find mostly tutorials for Nomad Sculpt, there are multiple Sculpt Plus tutorials on YouTube, and you can follow along to learn a few things. Now, for iOS users, especially for Cinema 4D users, you guessed it, we're gonna talk about the Maxon Forger app. This app has an intuitive and really powerful set of tools that allow you to create stunning 3D models on iPad or any iPad model with iOS 15 or above. It requires an iPad with A11 chip or better to run the complex viewport effects and to support shadows. Now, Forger 2023 also includes Cinema 4D's polygonal modeling alongside sculpting, allowing you to sculpt both organic and hard surface models with a seamless transition, which is really cool in my opinion. In addition, with the new sharing feature, you can easily import and export your models and textures between Forger and Cinema 4D, bringing the two programs closer than ever. But in order to get access to this feature, you will have to pay a $2 monthly subscription. This will give you the possibility to save more than a 3 file scenes of the free version, in addition to having access to all the export options. What's cool about the latest version of Forger is that it offers the powerful Z-Mesher tool, which allows you to remesh your sculptures in a very intuitive way like drawing lines on the object surface. And you can find in the Maxon's YouTube channel a playlist of short tutorials introducing the basics of the Forger app. Party 3 d is another iOS app, but this time it is for both iPhone and iPad. 
With several years of experience during which the developers had been working hard on answering and fixing users' reports, Putty 3D became one of the most used 3D sculpting apps on the App Store, mainly thanks to its simplicity and accessibility, as it never aimed to be the most advanced sculpting tool, but rather wants to be the best 3D sketchbook for artists and enthusiasts on the go. One of the best features of this app is its free sculpting mode that allows you to draw in 3D and sculpt from anywhere in the 3D space. And the fact that it is fast and responsive and it can perfectly nail the quick sculpt feel that artists want from a pocket app. Meaning you can sculpt a quick concept anywhere you are without too many options and buttons. The app also offers great lighting options, making it visually appealing. The only two things I would say that are not great when it comes to this app, first, the fact that it is not free, because it costs 5 bucks, and the second one, there aren't enough tutorials on the internet other than Party 3 ds demonstration videos. But again, this may be due to its simplicity and easy to use interface, so things are self-explanatory. Moving on, we're gonna talk about D3D Sculptor. D3D Sculptor is one of the first three 3D sculpting and painting apps that was ever released for Android. The app isn't known for its user-friendliness though, because it has a clunky UI with very little instructions, but it is definitely worth mentioning not only because it is one of the first ones, but also the fact that it has a lot of features. You can use D3D Sculptor to create and edit 3D models using various tools such as the traditional extrude, intrude, subdivide, decimate, boolean, and more. You can also sculpt with alpha textures, paint and texture your models, and it even got a UV editor for tweaking UV coordinates in addition to scale, rotation, and translating UVs. Of course, it supports importing and exporting OBJ files, so you can easily transfer your work to other programs. You can also share your projects in the D3D Sculptor Gallery and see what others have made. This is actually a great app for anyone who want to try 3D sculpting and painting, especially on their Android devices. But on the other hand, be prepared to face some challenges and limitations along the way. Next up, we have an app that has a very generic name. It is called 3D Modeling App Sculpt and Draw. This app probably is the most downloaded on our list. And the interesting thing is that it is called 3D Modeling Design My Model on the App Store. It's weird, right? I remember this was the first 3D modeling app I personally used on my phone, probably due to the fact that it was the first one that pops in the search bar. It has a kind of clunky gray and green interface, but it includes tools for every aspect of the 3D creation workflow, whether it be for modeling, texture painting, vortex painting, UV editing, lighting, and sculpting. And the consequence of this is that the tools are very basic and they are not great for people who have a lot of experience. Sadly, you cannot export your models with the free version and you cannot save more than one project so you will need a $6 monthly subscription in order to do so. In my opinion, there are better options, which makes this app less desirable. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Sculptora 3D, an iOS app that offers a unique 3D sculpting experience on iPad because unlike other apps that use meshes and triangles, Sculptora 3D uses high-resolution clay engine that allows you to sculpt freely and cut holes without any limitations. You can also take advantage of the full GPU acceleration and the Apple Pencil support to sculpt with precision and speed. And it has a variety of tools that you can use to create engaging characters, monsters, or even abstract art. You can basically carve, deform, smooth, cut, and shape your models with ease and see them in real-time rendering. You can also export your models in different formats such as Alembic, OBJ, STL, and USD, and import them into other apps or software. This app also supports iCloud integration and iOS 11 files, and you can easily access and share your projects across your devices. When it comes to pricing, this app costs a $10 one-time purchase. Some of you may prefer cheaper subscription-based models that offer more flexibility, but knowing it is a unique and constantly improving app, it is definitely worth it. On a side note, there is an alternative app called Sculptura Pocket 
just if you want to try the clay engine in a light version of Sculptura 3D. So guys, if you are interested in one of these apps, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.